And tonight we pray for their healing. A prayer for shalom, a prayer for peace as the Birmingham community, religious and non-religious, unite to stand with Pittsburgh right here on Highland Avenue. <laughs> A night to remember the 11 people killed inside this synagogue in Pittsburgh Saturday, their lives honored with every candle lit in front of Temple Bethel. To the victims, we miss you. And although some of us did not know you personally, as Jews, we are one nation with one beating heart, and any attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. A Holocaust survivor in the crowd, front row, sickened by the hate in the world, the anti-Semitism she hoped to never endure again. And I don't believe that I came to this country to make my children the best education and to not to have that misery that I went through and it happened now that God forbid it could happen to them or to my grandchildren or to you kids. I will build this world from the but as songs were sung, as leaders of different faiths spoke up for unity. And taking a moment to reaffirm our commitment to life together with hope and faith. With every step, we're one step closer to proving there's more good in this world than evil. I look around tonight, and this is the America that I prefer to see us as. This is who we are. Ponchos and cowboy boots. Having a good time. Nothing could keep these JSU students, staff, and fans from this show. For some, it's personal. A tornado was seven feet from where I was. Serena Murphy lost her apartment and car after the EF3 tornado ripped through the Jacksonville State University campus. She says the turnout tonight is overwhelming. We're a small town, and so it's amazing to see that the people are actually here for us. Well, I've got good news to break. While the concert's lineup was sure to impress, Alabama, the Charlie Daniels Band, Jamie Johnson, just to name a few, this benefit concert was about a mission to rebuild JSU one song at a time. As we were driving in a while ago, it's just a very emotional thing for me. Alabama lead singer and JSU Shoot. alum Randy Owen getting choked up before the concert, thinking back to when he saw the damage from March 19th's tornado. I saw the pine trees over there as you come in, just the tops just completely devastated. And then I said to myself, thank God nobody was here. Basically, none of the students were here. The damage costing close to $70 million in damage, according to the university. All proceeds from this concert going straight to that recovery. But to bring your gift and your talent to try to help out the cause, to try to help put people back together. There's no way in the world that this, this university will ever be replaced as it was when he was here. But now it can be better. Please welcome Eddie Redmayne, Newt's commander. Star studded doesn't cover it. Students roared when award-winning actors Jude Law and Eddie Redmayne, along with Zoe Kravitz, yes. Ezra Miller, and Callum Turner, the cast of Fantastic Beasts, set to hit the big screen in two weeks, hit the stage at Parkside Elementary in Coleman County first. I've been to Hogwarts, and this is one of the most magical places I've ever been. They came to see for themselves after three out-of-the-box thinking teachers and their students transformed the hallways into the four houses of the Potter franchise. And when it went viral, it got the attention of Harry Potter creator J.K. Rowling. Inspiring you guys all to dream and learn. For this Title I school, where nearly 80% of students are on free or reduced lunch, this is beyond big. I think it's going to have a huge impact on them yeah. just because they don't have a lot of experiences. They don't have a lot of opportunities to travel and, you know, see a lot of different things outside of their, you know, their hometown. Jude Law telling the crowd his parents were teachers and the visit means just as much to him and the other actors. To see teachers like this or to experience teachers like this who have put their hands in their pockets, given up their own time and really thought about what they can do to make a difference, to engage and capture their, their students' imaginations and encourage them to dream and think and all the things that, as we just said, really work out what it is that makes them want to learn. 
is very, very special, and that's why we're here to celebrate. And coming to this school today and seeing those kids' faces and how, uh, how much adrenaline they had and how much adrenaline we had, yeah. it, you kind of, it makes it all joyous. beyond joyous. Yeah. I'm going to try to stay. Okay. I'm going to do sort of a cat burglar thing. I'm planning to hide in one of those cabinets. On behalf of Warner Brothers Pictures, we... As if they could forget this, Warner Brothers leaving something else behind to make this visit memorable. A check for $25,000. If this little bitty school that's 78% free and reduced lunch can do something amazing that makes the kids excited to be at school, then any school can do it.